welcome dear students so now you will solve another problem related to friction and this problem is related to edges so the problem is two edges of 10 degree and uh, negligible weight are used to move and position this block okay knowing that the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.25 at all surfaces of contact determine the smallest force p that should be applied as shown to one of the wedges so we have to find the value of p so let us solve the problem <coughs> So, first we will calculate phi s and that will be equals to 10 of 20.25 and it comes out to be 14. 0.04 degree okay now next we will draw the free body diagram of block so suppose we are drawing it here So, first force is the weight of this block, then we have N, normal reaction, okay, and then we have the friction force. Suppose F1. then we have the normal reaction here so you can call it n2 and friction force here now you can replace these forces by the resultant so we can have r1 and this angle is phi s Similarly, you will have R2, the resultant of F2, and this angle is again phi S. Okay. Now, what we can do for, uh, if the block is in equilibrium, then all these three forces should uh, form a force triangle. So, we can make a force triangle, and then we can apply the sine law okay so this is the force triangle so the four this is the w uh, then we are having r1 and r2 so suppose this is r1 and then this should close this r2 Okay, now the, this angle we know, phi s. And uh, this angle is known to us. This is again uh, phi s. So we need to find the other angles also. So this angle will be 90 degree. minus 2 times of phi s so 
So this is just a geometry. You can work out it. It's not a big problem. So this comes out to be 61.9. And uh, then you can apply the triangle law. So you can find this angle also. So this angle will be 90 plus 5s. Or up to this we are having 90 okay and this 5s is plus so this angle will be 104 okay Point zero four. and this angle we have calculated by the triangle law <coughs> now we can apply sine law so by using sine law uh, we can have w upon sine of the 61 degree 61.92 okay 61.9 this value and then we can have r2 uh, r2 upon 104 so sine of uh, just a minute sign of 104.4 degree sorry 04 so from that you can calculate r2 and it's come down to be 43 439.8 pound okay now next step we will draw the free body diagram free body diagram of wedge so this is your wedge okay so We will have R2 on top. We will have R2. Okay. Then we have a P. And uh, we will have R3 here. So I am not showing the friction forces separately this time. So we will have R3 and this angle is 14 degree right and this angle we have 10 because the wedge angle is 10 so 10 plus 5s okay now what we can do we can make a force triangle for this so suppose p is here then we can have R2 here and then this should be R3 and the angle uh, comes out to be 90. so we need to find these angles so this angle will be means uh, uh, 14 plus 10 plus 14 so 28 uh, means this angle is around 14.04 plus 24.04 so from 38.08 degree so this angle will be this <coughs> and uh, We need to find other angles also. So uh, this angle will be 90 degree. So 90 degree minus of 24.04. Okay. 
now you can apply sine law in this triangle also so from the sine law we get p upon sine of this 38 0.08 and that will be equals to r2 upon because we have already calculated r2 so r2 upon sine of this 90 minus 24.0 so from this since we know r2 this is the r2 so we can calculate p and the value of p comes out to be 297.297 .297 pound so this is the main